Hey, what is up, guys? This is Cobb. And oh my goodness. Aggro versus aggro. We're playing some speed specialists in this one. Stand up with a whole bunch of crawlers, a couple of units of sledgies. Which are going to trade quite well into the stangs. That's 30. He's been starting supply on even more crawlers. So it looks like putting the Akite over here on this side as well is going to benefit us quite a bit. And this is just a lot of nerds coming in, man. We're going to get stuck hitting crawlers for quite a while here. For our backup stats to arrive. We will get the building kill. It just depends on uh, whether or not we'll get that dead in time. Well, that's it. If we just win this trade anyway. Looks like it. All right, man. Cool, cool, cool. Nice, man. Maybe this is just like a sledgehammer swarm game, dude. Maybe that's it. Improved steel balls, storm caller range, uh, enhanced module. You know, enhanced module on this arc light could actually be just pretty excellent. Like, it's guaranteed to get stupid value for the whole game, right? So maybe we just do a bit of that. Okay, we're going to need a little bit of anti-air potential here as well. So I guess we pick up the stangs. Another happy little acolyte here is just fine. Stangs maybe a little bit further back. I think that's good. All right, let's do this. Nice, and he does actually go into Phoenixes. So it looks like it's about going to work out for us. We are going to need some more late arriving chaff over here to protect the sledgehammers from getting dinked by these uh, Phoenixes. We do only have one unit of Stangs to try and live and take these guys on. So this might turn against us here, dude. We only have like two Stangs left alive, I think, there. They gotta live to kill off the Phoenixes. Okay, never mind. It's four Stangs. Maybe we can do this. Get the building dead. Get the buildings dead. Okay, very good. Nice. It's just about going to be enough. That's quite a big investment into Phoenix here. He does not have repositioning tech either. So certainly some bad news for this guy. Oh, wow. Charged ammo. And his module too. Wow, man. Those are both two very, very good Mustang items. I think I'll opt into the charged ammo. We get that set up right there. This Aki over here is having a great time. I think we just leave that as it is. Honestly, maybe we just make this more of like a Stang game now. Our front line's holding up good. We're taking care of the AoE side of things. Uh, pretty easily, I feel. Okay. Let's actually do this. Yeah. I think that that's it. I think that that's the way. Let's cover that flank as well. Nothing there. Flanks on this side. Okay. So these tanks sound quite important. I kind of want plus range on both the Stangs and the Acolytes. The level on the Sledgehammers here will keep them alive against the Missile. And these Mustangs are going to be extremely, extremely important to our win. Crawlers will win much, much faster on this side now. That's going to help us quite a bit too, but I think our building dies first. Uh, all the same. Uh, oh, never mind. It doesn't, it doesn't. The crawlers actually get pulled, uh, chain pulled, down in that direction. Second building's about to go. We only have a few stangs left to actually finish off the phoenixes. Looks like it is going to happen. All right, man. Yeah, um, I feel like we got a lid on this game. I feel like we've won too many rounds already that this, uh, this aggro action is just going to get kind of out of control for him. Um, going into heavy acolyte could be fine. They're starting off so, so close to his guys. We could actually go into that. I think I quite like it. I think I do quite like it. Pick up the upgrade here. Um, question is, do we want to elite recruit a couple of acolytes now? Hmm. I think we do. Elite recruit a couple of these nerds. 
These guys should deal with this honestly quite easily for most of the game now. We shouldn't really have to worry too much about this. Something like so. Upgrade, upgrade. And barrier just in case he goes orbital bombard. Probably smart. Okay, he goes for fort on a mission instead. Missile here again? This acolyte's gonna do just fine against a missile drop. Uh, now that we have heavy Aki. And we're mostly protected against this one too. I guess we need some extra crawlers here. But alright, man. Yeah, these Aki's gonna do just a fine job of clearing up everything here on the back line. So that's totally fine for us. It's gonna take us a lot longer to get the building kill over here on this side, but we will win on that left side. Does he have armor upgrade on his Arkies? He does. That might make the carry Acolytes less of an option. Oh, then again, we do have charged ammo on our level 2 Stangs, so maybe not. They just disable the uh, armor upgrade, right? I don't know, dude. I still feel like Mustang is just really good with the right items, man. <laughs> like, I know they were nerfed uh, pretty, pretty bigly in the last patch, but I still feel like they're just really good. Did I miss an upgrade on this last round? I might have totally missed a free upgrade on that. If I did, my bad. I'm terrible. But hey. Let's just drop some more neds, man. I mean... Why the hell not? Some more geeks over here, dude. Absolute freaks of nurture. Let's do this. Ooh, Fisty Fortress has come out. But that's fine. We have charged ammo, dude. That's actually fine, right? We can also go Electromag on our Acolytes as well. If these guys become a bit of a problem. But I think... Oh, God. I think our opponent has mispositioned these. Oh, God. No, don't do that. Okay, he's putting them in exactly the wrong position. I think they're going to get both get uh, charged ammo by my Stangs here. I'm pretty sure... These Stangs will split and hit both of these guys. Yep, we shut down that one. So no fists coming out from this guy. Can they get the other one too? They do. Might be too much damage for us to actually win out against. Yeah, we might have to kind of switch things up a little bit into uh, more Acolyte carry action. And the fists will go off on this guy, so... Alright, man. To be fair, decent fist pickup. We get the building kill get two building kills actually and so hang on do these guys actually win this little duel we have extra nerds coming in just no way to kill the phoenixes all right man that's fine okay yeah totally forgot to start recording again there but the round ended needless to say <laughs> let's go to junior manufacturing special man and really spam out some units here um upgrades here i'm also considering armor piercing I feel like the likelihood that he goes into barrier here just feels very, very, very high. Um, and so for that purpose, I think armor piercing is honestly just fine for us. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, and I guess we're just going to elite recruit. Probably drop two Arclights and give them charge shot. Maybe. Maybe that's just fine. Ah, oh, who am I fooling, man? We've already got the upgrade for the Stangs. I think we just go more Stangs. Yeah. Just go more Mustangs, dude. Might even just start flanking with the pop here. Become like a real pain in the ass. Maybe this backside is actually better. And this side as well, perhaps. Now nah, some late arrivals is okay. Let's do this. Okay, yeah, he doesn't go into fist just yet. It is quite expensive. That's a good missile by him. So the Stangs on the back line here should be able to get a building kill pretty fast. And he's actually flanking with another fortress over here. Okay. Get the kill, get the kill, get the kill. One building goes down. Another building falls. And we begin to chunk. 
With his fists, I'm going to start to go off as well. Certainly not over. Nice. Okay. Oh, no. Why aren't they going for the building, dude? What are they doing? No! This is terrible. Oh, well. At least our kind opponent sped up. Okay. Oh, wow. We actually still nearly drew. Or oh, just about took the win. Haste module. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Dropping on these guys because they are quite safe. But yeah, I think it's time to just start scaling these guys up now in a big, big way. Um, first by doing this, then by doing that. And then we just elite and mass recruit a ton of dudes. Maybe even give them plus range for a round as well. We got a free upgrade here. Well, not a free upgrade here, but an upgrade here on these guys. Extra unit right here, perhaps. I think that's okay. Then we just had to stagger some of these guys back a little. And we'll eventually get an electromag on these acolytes as well. Gotta switch things up a little bit. Goes for an incendiary bomb Vulcan. Okay. So the first salvo of missiles will just hit right, right here, right? Another fisty fortress. Okay, yeah. Not giga concerned about this. We can just sell these guys off next round, get a whole bunch of supply back. That'll help fund our switch into the electromag shots. And we can just transition into super, super heavy arc lights here. Plus attack buffs and health buffs as well are going to become very valuable soon. But okay. Let's see how we do. Now that we have arc light uh, giga damage chunking these guys. The trades are going a bit more favorably on all fronts. This side's still a little bit rough. Okay. Yeah, I don't expect us to win this round. I just hope that we do okay. And kill a good amount of these guys, uh, of his giants. We got like, a kill on this guy too, that'd be fantastic. That'd be a good amount of health saved. Building goes down, very good. It'd be astounding if we get this kill as well. Okay. Speed things up. Yeah, full on transition into these uh, Akis. I think we should be fine now. They're very, very well defended against air units too. Oh my god, we actually win, even. So, so strong, dude. We can even upgrade our... Man, even the Stangs got good value this round, huh? Very interesting. Smoke bomb? Nah. Oh, well, Bombard's fine, I guess. Just drop the nuts right here. We will sell off these Stangs now. We'll upgrade these guys with the items, because apparently they are doing some work. Uh, we want to go Electromag. Maybe plus attack as well at this stage too, but first and foremost, let's just elite recruit a whole bunch of guys. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to defend against here as well, which is a little bit of a concern. Can't miss out on the free upgrades. Okay. Just kind of hug these guys around this area a little. Just protect the building more than anything. Extra guy over here. And then barrier, barrier. Just protect as many of these guys as I can from a orbital bombard, I suppose. You know, this could actually be last round. I suppose we just borrow money too. Okay. His missile comes down on that side. That's quite smart of him. That is rather smart. But you know what? We still chunk down his flank here quite quickly. Even though things are going to go a little bit... A little bit dodgy over here. In fact, no, we still might even win on this side. Nah, we don't win. 
But we definitely hold them off for quite a long time. I guess we just go Elite Maximum as well next round, dude. Guess that's it. We have one Acolyte left alive over here. It does somehow win. Oof, we take steep damage this round, though. Alright, let's skip ahead. Alrighty. And down we go. Stupendous amounts of damage. Oh, wow, the nuke. The nuke, though. I don't think the nuke is actually that good for us, to be honest. Portable shield could do a lot uh, for its cost. It's completely exposed on this flank, actually. Should probably exploit that. Hmm. Okay. I think I probably just go into portable shield. Drop it on maybe this guy. Seems like to survive. Pick up a leap maxman. We spam barriers. Because what else? Gonna borrow cash. And just to guarantee that he can't missile defend against a flank here. We're gonna have two units of crawlers. Head on in for this building. I think that's pretty fine. Let's attack. Got a barrier here too. Maybe. Plus move speed. So I want to sell these guys. Just level one tanks. They're not really doing a whole lot. Upgrade these guys. Just an extra barrier. All right, man. Let's do that. Oof! He's trying to bum rushes on this side. So the barrier here is actually going to uh, hopefully prevent that phoenix from landing a free kill. Crawlers are uncontested at the back. So so long as they get in quickly. We should have a decent old time. He's getting caught up here with his phoenix killing crap. While the crawlers are going to make it in. They get the building down. And I think that should be it. How many Akis do we have left over here to chunk? Some Stangs need to live as well. My concern is that they're going to drive through the fire. And the phoenixes will actually uh, get him the win. Okay, never mind. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We did it, we did it. Okay, man, quite the transition into uh, into Aki's this game. Items didn't quite line up for Stangs. But I gotta tell you the truth, man, they still feel really good. Like, they still feel excellent, to be honest. Maybe that just means that they're balanced now, I don't know. Are they still OP? Are the items still worth it to be slamming on Stangs every single time? We're gonna some supply specialists in this one, man. Setting up with a whole bunch of fangs, a couple of phoenixes. Standing supply dumped on some Arkies, which looks like it might be a little bit of a waste. Given that our opponent went for no chaff units at all. That said, the phoenixes look like they're going to have some pretty amazing impact. In such a low unit count army, they're just kind of one-shotting everything, which is great. Awesome. Aki even gets to live. Now one Acolyte on this side. The backup Acolyte. Which I thought would be against like a pack of crawlers or something. It's just gonna slow him down long enough. Okay, man. Cool, 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 cool. So win right away with the fangs. Let's see how close to level two these guys are, I guess. Ooh, wow. Mass produced melting points. Oh man, that's always so so tempting. Ah, I think I'm just gonna go straight in for the haste module, man. So these fangs actually got like no XP. They were just responsible for like zero of the kills, while it was really the phoenixes just sort of farming every kill. Which is pretty funny. So I guess we just don't invest much more in the fangs, they're not really doing anything, right? Yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty Acolyte heavy round, to be honest. Do something like this, get another Aki squeezed in here behind, another one here a bit further across. Phoenixes maybe on the flank. This module. Sure, we'll give it to you, man. Alright, yeah. Stangs are coming out in counter to the fangs, I believe. And to the phoenixes, obviously. Okay. 
So the Phoenix is going to get in here and get the building kill. Is it too little too late though? Maybe, maybe not. We actually get another building kill here, which is massive. Let's this act like win this trade. Nice. Alright, cool man. Cool, cool, cool. Very nice. Um, incendiary bomb. Ooh, extended acolyte range though, dude. Okay, this could just be a carry acolyte uh, game, to be honest. This upgrade here is definitely happening. We will now move these guys over to this side, get the kill here. Um, plus range or mechanical rage on the fangs. Feels like it could be quite important. They need to stay in front of the phoenixes. Um, hmm. I wonder if plus attack on the acolytes is more important than plus range to begin with, just because of how tanky everything is that they're up against. Minus, obviously, the uh, stangs. I think I'm going to opt into that. Let's do this. Do I sell one of the units of Phoenixes? Honestly, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, man. Oops. Sell one of those nerds, dude. Get another nerd over here. And, uh, yeah. I think we just do this and what? Plus defense? Back up, backlight here in middle. We go something like this, man. See how this does. Missile will kill off the fangs. Extreme Stangs comes out over there. Okay. So that kind of damage is like pretty good against the sledgehammers now. They still sort of get one tap by the maximum, which is like always going to be the biggest concern. But all in all, they're doing pretty okay. Without fl uh, flank shenanigans this turn, though, obviously we have no real chance of uh, taking the win. Can you kill this maxman before the game ends? What the hell, dude? I thought it gave you guys increased range. Damn it. Okay, mass produce melting point, strike specialist. Um, honestly, iron blaster seems pretty okay. But not super impactful either. I think we actually skip. Okay. Every upgrade possible is always just going to be going down on the acolytes, pretty much. Let's grab some ranged potential here. And maybe here. Maybe we just keep them both middle-ish for now. I think there and there's just fine. Has to be symmetrical, man. Fangs, I'm fine to just pick up more fang chaff, I think. Also going to start covering flanks a little bit. Let's just move these guys back like so. They don't need to be so, so pushed in like this. Oh crap, I didn't get to click my thingy in time. Well, that's alright. We're probably going to be picking up ranged on the Aki's next round. That lights right now are almost two-shotting the uh, sledgehammers. That's pretty good. My hope is that the uh, missiles will help us take out the uh, masses of stangs that are going on right now. If not right now, then in the rounds to come. By giving them, like, uh, fire. Flaming ammunition, all that good stuff. Okay. It's an L, but it's fine. Honestly, most of his XP is going under his maximum, so I'm not that worried here. He also has items on his stings. Yeah, I think that I just dial in some tech upgrades here. Uh, speed Specialist... Uh, ah, let's go improve Firepower Control. Okay, we get ranged. We upgrade. Guy over here maybe should get it. Probably this guy. Continue to sell these nerds. And just go something like this. I 
actually don't want too many of these guys in the middle. Should spread them out a bit. He's got most stangs on this side, so... Okay. Alright. Giant unit stats to come out. That's fine. I feel like we should do a lot better here, honestly. Flames will go down here. Flames will go down here very, very shortly. This side not quite nicely lined up with the uh, flaming missiles. But on this side, they're going to have some pretty devastating impact. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, wow. He actually has uh, nano repair on that guy, huh? Then, So we actually won't get him dead, huh? Alrighty. Definitely go for increased attack here. Um, I think range on the storm callers is just fine here too. I think I just stack more, to be honest. Get some over on this side. Some more of these kind of central, so we have more guys hitting into this nerd. Um, perhaps missile here. Oh no, we need we need upgrades, man. We have multiple available upgrades. Hold on to the Phoenix for now. If we get some shots off into the fortress, it's actually decent. But okay, we got our shots off much, much faster now. With these Stormies. Oi, 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 oi. Barrier upgrade comes out on the fortress. That's quite indicative, of, I guess, of what he's uh, planning to push. In this game. Got lots of fire in the ground, nice and quickly now as well. To really just kind of mulch down most of the stangs. So that's nice. Same thing over here as well. Yeah, I think it's just uh, Stormcaller Supremacy. Pretty hard for him to keep up with. It almost feels like he kind of has to go War Factory now. He doesn't have too much of a choice. We're going to have a little bit of a chaff issue. Uh, is my only concern here. Electromag Blast. God, he could Rhino Assault now a backline. I'm going to have to leave these Phoenixes here for another round, man. To protect against this. Uh, the Iron Blast is just fine, though. I guess we just go with this, just to bend down his... Uh, his Fortress Barrier. I kind of want to hit these guys first, and then cross it over, I think. Ah, maybe that'll be decent. I think that's about it. Okay. I think it's time that we start to make these fangs a bit more annoying for his sledgehammers to kill off. Um, upgrade, upgrade. Always upgrading these guys. I think we just sort of mass fang a little bit. I suppose I want to stagger them in like this as well. Let them trickle into the fight a bit slower. Maybe even having backup fangs over here to arrive a bit slower is also just totally fine. Let's go for plus range for the first time. And maybe just missile, like back here, just in case of Rhino Spesh. Nah, he's just gonna laser us, okay. All right, War Factory comes out with some missile defense action. That sucks a lot, it's gonna hurt a lot. Looks like our beam is pretty good. Against the fortress? I don't think I'll get the kill. But at least preps it for maybe the Acolytes to take it out. Alright. Yeah, so I just gotta go uh, Electromag on the Acolytes, man. That's all there is to it here. Get it dead, get it dead. Dude, its ability to shoot down missiles is actually insane. Seems to never slow either. Like, it seems to never, uh, almost hit fatigue. Oh, might be starting to happen here. I think we actually maybe win this. Okay, no, we don't. We don't have enough guys left. Alright. Yeah, I think we can just overwhelm this war factory. Um, 
Oof. Yeah, we gotta go laser sights. Um, laser sights, I guess, on this Ned here. Give these guys Electromag. Upgrade, upgrade. Almost definitely borrow Cashew and just fully, maximally upgrade these guys, actually. For uh, range. Sell this guy off now, man. I think his job is kind of done. Wow, we actually got some levels on some of the fangs. I actually did something now that they got barrier. That's kind of cool. Okay. Okay, I sort of feel like just a bit more chaff is okay. And then we just mass recruit more guys. We just got to land some Electromag attacks against this uh, War Factory, and we should be fine. Get a backup backlight over here. That should about do it. Yeah, he's got double War Factory, so... Thing is, though, we will Electromag this thing quite quickly. I think it's going to push quite far to the front. Oh, apparently we're hitting a barrier right now, somehow. Oh, there we go. He no longer has any missile defense. So it should die quite fast. Oh my god, nothing is hitting this guy, though. Okay, never mind. One Acolyte is hitting the Rhino. Yeah, the Electromag on the uh, Acolytes is just... It's just insane, honestly. It's going to carry us a little bit. See, all we just need is more Fangs to arrive even later. So that we guarantee the win against the... Maxman Duel at the end. Oh my god. He almost goes down. Uh, tech specialist. Wow. Well, it's a bit late for that. Uh, fought on a mission. Nuke? Is there merit to the nuke here, dude? Kind of feel like there might be. Mostly for killing off the, uh, swaths and swaths of stangs. The back on this side. Okay. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Oh, look at all these goddamn. Look at all these Aki upgrades, dude. Some here too. Um, well, we're definitely borrowing money again, and we're definitely buying more nerds. So we get these nerds to arrive here. We get these nerds, these absolute geeks, to arrive a little bit later on. Just launch overload this action. Just launch overload this. I'm a bit scared of him just like rushing with a ton of air units, but we do have a lot of fangs. To uh, really slow him down. I don't have any anti-air on the Acolytes. Like, if he was to go Overlords, we might be in some trouble. Hmm. Hmm. You know, for that reason, I think I do actually just go plus range. On the Fangs, man. I think we just do. Then we just spam barriers. Just in case of a nuke for, from his side. Oh my god, dude, it's gonna end with a nuke. Alright, dude. So we have very, very high damage. Oh my god, our nuke is gonna be so juicy over here, dude. Oh, snap, dude. Bam! Incredible. Meanwhile, on this side, we have Electromag this guy, successfully. And as such, the missiles are gonna make pretty short work of this gentleman. Pretty good. Building goes down. All of our Arclights are still alive. Because look at the late arriving fangs, dude. On each side. Like, his maximum never really got to connect. Oi, 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 oi. Cool, man. Good old carry Arclights game. I mean, we had to resort to the Stormcallers a little bit, too. Cool. 